any questions any doubt in one trade configuring always on no one tried no yet. sir no no sir no then get times always on is very easy right no no i am not sir we can <laughs> Yeah, they celebrated holy yesterday. Okay. Yeah. In Germany, a lot of Indians are there. Uh, in Munich, here, uh, in, in, in Munich, actually, here, Munich, sir. Here, lot Munich, of Munich. Yeah, yeah, Munich. Munich, huh? they will call it as mm. Munich. No, sir, here we'll call as München. München. In Germany. Yeah, yeah, we used to call as Munich. What's your language? Laser actually the intervata start chale. Okay, <laughs> okay. job chala custom. Oh no, local language until like compulsory. Compulsory, sir. English can take all of language is hala. In language, all the Italian. Uh, Deutsch, sir. Deutsch. Okay. Yeah. Almost talk like on time. German. Uh, German languages, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, Germany, Konjamo, uh, I mean, Denmark, or Chessy. I would Dutch, so Kunjum Alane and Pisson, sir. Okay, okay. Ma Babu Kyochu. Oh, in the Gatta Valkita Keltana, Thorgan Nichkunado. Okay, okay, okay. And I mean, like a class me Babu. Five years, sir, five years, sir. But Valaki Thorga Oches in the language. Kita, Inca eligible at school. Kita and six years, Kita and like one play group lag, sir. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Fine. Okay, so till today, okay, we have completed um all the topics, guys. Whatever SQL DB topics are there, we have completed all the topics. So today onwards, okay, I'll take two classes for performance tuning. Don't expect more. I'll I'll tell you why. Okay, you don't need to expect more performance tuning. I'll take two classes. Okay, two classes means two days right not two sessions two sessions one session is 40 minutes right so like that i'll take six sessions okay today and one more day i'll take performance tuning classes right sir is this enough yes absolutely enough okay whatever like you people are trying for four years of experience three to five years of experience right mostly so performance tuning they will concentrate more if you put at least seven years eight years experience okay if you put only three to five years of experience whatever things we are going to discuss today and in the next class those are all more than enough the thing is each and every point you have to remember each and every point you have to explain to the interviewer that's it if you are really interested you can go for advanced performance tuning okay i am not uh, what we can say uh, promoting this course okay advanced performance tuning not for you guys okay once you got the job okay once you got the job once you are habituated in the system for at least six months once you worked once you have an experience of six months real-time experience then you can learn this advanced performance tuning for advanced performance tuning you should have t sql knowledge okay t sql knowledge transact sql the language okay you should have t sql knowledge if you have t sql knowledge then it will be more than enough like it is it's a, it's like a, a strength to learn advanced performance tuning guys but whatever things whatever issues related to the performance tuning okay so that can be <coughs> fixed with our today's and next these two days sessions guys so i'll explain what and all things will get related to the performance tuning okay how to what are the performance bottlenecks what are the performance uh, tuning best settings best configuration settings and all okay so we'll discuss those things so very limited to the performance tuning guys and that too i know those are all sufficient why because most of our students are attending the interview so performance tuning wise whatever they are asking okay they are able to clear means they are sufficient whatever we are discussing are sufficient no sir i am i'm more interested in the advanced performance tuning. you can happily learn it but it will be very useful once you got the job and you can easily understand advanced performance tuning once you have an, a real-time experience and exposure guys so whatever things we are discussing in the next two days okay 
those are all sufficient for performance tuning not only for clearing the interview you can manage the work also so don't think like i am not i am i'm simply skipping performance tuning no whatever important things are there in the performance tuning i am going to teach all those things okay remaining things okay not needed at this stage okay guys clear right so what things will cover under performance tuning guys so performance tuning means um actually what is this performance tuning if the sql server is not working if the performance guys performance degradation say for example the query the intended behavior means the query has to execute in one minute but it is taking 10 minutes means the sql server is not expecting as not working as expected okay it is taking lot of time to execute the queries okay so why it is taking lot of query a lot of time what what is the reason behind it what is blocking this query okay so any 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 best settings we can apply on the sql server so all these things will be covered under your performance tuning guys okay you have to tune the performance right so you know right we are going to use earlier we used some some uh, what we can say radios and all to get the uh, audio clearly we are going to tune it okay means for our for the better results we are going to tune the radio in the same way for the best results okay from the sql server we are going to tune the sql server there are lot of ways to tune the sql server applying the best settings also called as uh, tuning the sql server how we are going to tune the sql server in case of any issue is there say blockings are there how to check the blockings what precautions you have to take in case of blockings are there okay uh, like before uh, sometimes we have to kill the sessions what we have to do before killing the sessions okay in the same way cpu is more than 90 percentage memory more than 90 percentage tempdb contention tempdb issues are there checking blockings application running slow query running slow most of the things you will get questions 99 percentage you will get questions from these areas only definitely they will ask you my query is running slow or my application is running slow how we are going to start troubleshoot our tempdb issues are there okay tempdb is full or regularly it is full how we are going to check it and how you are going to fix it how to check the blockings what in case if blockings are there how you are going to check the blockings how to deal with the blockings my cpu consumption is more than 90 percent yesterday day before yesterday when we start the machines right when we start the machines okay Panandra, I, i'll share the new link okay i'll share the new link right okay so um, when we start the machines yesterday okay you see my node one is performing very slow okay when i'm opening any window or any wizard it is taking a lot of time why because all the instances are running from node one only when i failed over to node two the performance is little bit improved why because the the uh, earlier with the diagrams cpu memory okay in the always on we just explained right so uh, the 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 cpu what what we have is not sufficient to execute the queries the memory what we have is not sufficient to execute the queries okay so these are the things we'll we'll get in the organization regularly guys cpu consumption will be 90 percentage or 95 percentage or 100 percentage memory consumption will be 90 95 100 percentage so what we have to do if we got all these issues like if my cpu is more than 90 percentage how to fix it my memory is more than 90 percentage how to fix it okay so these these two are very important things guys and for most of the things okay cpu 90 percentage memory 90 percentage application running slow uh, there are common steps are there to troubleshoot again i don't explain for memory again i don't explain for query running slow i'll explain the general things what and all areas you have to check what and all corners you have to check what and all settings you have to be applied i'll explain these general steps okay the same steps you have to follow for memory more than 90 percent is query running slow of course extra steps i'll include of course extra steps i'll include but these are common steps to check your cpu memory temp db blockings okay and application query running slow most of the steps are common 70 percent steps are common memory extra steps will be there okay query running slow extra steps will be there so these kind of stuff under I'll, I'll explain okay what under extra steps so imagine you know right a cpu memory where we can see under task manager we can see guys okay so you know the impact of cpu and memory right if cpu is more than 90 percentage if if we don't take care of it what will be the impact guys it will go to 95 percentage 
स्टिल इफ यू डोंट टेक केयर ऑफ इट विल गो टू हंड्रेड परसेंटेज चलो वट इज द इम्पैक्ट इफ इट गोज टू हंड्रेड परसेंटेज गाइस वट इज द इम्पैक्ट मशीन it won't respond at all that is called hang your machine will be hanged in case if you don't concentrate okay if the cpu is more than 90% or 95% or 100% in the same way memory is also so memory also if you are not concentrating if memory reaches to 90% 95% finally it will reach reaches to 100% guys if we don't concentrate on it it will consume all the resources it will consume the whole cpu so other processes can't execute internal processes also can't execute so your machine will be hanged guys the memory is 100 percentage other processes doesn't have memory okay in that case also your machine will be hanged if the machine is hanged there is no solution guys you have to restart the server restart means downtime which is not accepted by the customer okay so what we have to do do we need to restart immediately or do we need to troubleshoot some things if my cpu reaches 90 95 percentage or 100 percentage what we have to do if my memory reaches 90 95 or 100 what we have to do what things we have to check guys okay so first thing is whenever any cpu or any of the particular let me let me start the machines guys so you can see earlier yesterday itself you see right so we have three instances that are running from the from a single in, uh, single machine okay so what if cpu reaches 90 percentage what if memory reaches 90 percentage guys of course will depends on task manager first what we have to do guys log into the server sir how to know we'll set up alerts guys we have alerting system right in the sql server we'll set up alerts okay once it reaches to 90 percentage a dba will get an alert the whole team will get an alert once memory reaches 90 percentage whole dba team will get an alert if we have any blockings the whole dba team will get an alert directly will get an email so on so server cpu is 92 percentage please take care of it or please take action immediate action like that you will get an email logged into the server go to the task manager guys first thing what you have to do first thing is go to the task bar okay so open the task bar of that server and check it check the consumption first cpu right click on the cpu which process is taking more cpu if you click here okay it will it will put in the ascending and descending order so which process is taking more cpu that process will be there on top guys in my case zoom is taking more cpu what i have to do guys i am a sql dba okay in my case now in this case zoom is taking more cpu what i can do to fix this issue tell me guys general general i am asking it's not a technical question i am a sql dba okay but zoom is taking more cpu or more memory what i can do what best i can do you can edit the session sir zoom ka zoom meeting is used so there are the no kill process otherwise you can end the uh, end task correct okay so actually zoom is non sql processes correct right right zoom yeah. is not belongs to sql dba team it's it's belongs to other than any processes other than sql server belongs to windows team only guys okay in this case you don't need to do anything guys simply route this issue to the windows team hey windows team and so on so server non sql processes are consuming more cpu more memory please have a look on this if only sql processes are consuming more cpu more memory then only we have to troubleshoot guys other than other than sql processes some internal processes will be there some antivirus processes will be there okay some other stuff will be there so if any other step other than this sql server you can happily blindly you can route the ticket to the windows team they have, they have to take care of it if sql server is consuming more cpu then you have to take care of it 
any processes other than sql server is consuming more cpu or memory you have to simply route that ticket to windows team why because it is not in our control right sql server is in, in our control okay other processes will be in windows team control so they have to manage the things why it is running at this time some other processes will run okay in the in the business hours and all why it is running at this time they have to look into it why it is taking more cpu why it is taking more memory they have to look into it guys one important thing is even though when you get the issue okay cpu or memory issue log into the server first open the task manager check it guys check which process is taking more cpu and memory which process is taking more cpu and memory if non sql process is there simply route the ticket any process we don't mind guys what the, what is the process and all we don't know but any process other than sql sir how to know whether it is a sql process or non sql process how to know guys whether it is a sql process or non sql process generally how to know anyone checked when when sql server is running anyone checked in the task manager guys what processes will run sql server sql server.exe sql server.exe anyone 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 try digging into it guys any software is running actually if any software is running in the back end on behalf of that software one exe file will run guys anyone tried anyone tried at any stage which exe file is running for sql server see for example zoom meeting is there right if you expand this okay right click right click okay if you go to processes something processes will be there open file location okay any process if any process has to run in the okay if any process has to run in the window system on be off of that software one exe file will run guys one exe file will run for sql server also an exe file will be there anyone knows what is that exe file anyone knows what is that exe file guys all setup will be in executing files and let okay okay and it will contain the program so it will contain the program that's okay, okay. 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 yeah it will contain the program and all that's agreed okay so my question is if sql server is running which processes will run in the back end what is that exe process okay go to the server go to the task manager guys okay so if you see here right if you see my windows server this is my windows server right if you just click on this you can see on top sql servers are there right two sql servers are there if you expand this okay you can see here b42 sql 2017 instance okay open services or else you can see like this also right click here click on the main okay tree uh, go to details or open file location anything you can see yeah okay if you see here guys go to details section see here which process is running guys can can you check sql server .exe. okay so if you check clearly what is the processes it is running okay sql server .exe. is it sql yes. server SQL S V R V R. Okay. SQL S V R V R on behalf of your SQL Server. This EXE file will run in the background, guys. This EXE file will run in the background. Three instances are there, right? So three EXE files we can see. Three EXE files we can see. Okay. So, sir, is it mandatory to know? Yes. Sometimes in the interviews they will ask you, but at this stage it's not mandatory, guys. so the thing is what i want to say whenever you just log into the machine okay just click on in case if it is a cpu issue click just click on the cpu 
number okay the number is fluctuating right so sometimes it will show you 90 percentage sometimes it will again okay and drops to a, a 10 percentage or less than 10 percentage so just click on the cpu once our memory issue is there just click on the memory okay so you can see which which uh, which process is taking more cpu which software is taking more cpu so in this case if sql server is taking more cpu on top you can see this processes guys what is the processes belongs to sql server this see here it is it is sometimes it is it is coming on top right so if you can see sql server windows nt 64 on top then only you have to please mute it please mute it if you see SQL Server Windows NT 64 bit on top, okay, then only you have to concentrate, guys. Otherwise, you can simply root this ticket to Windows team. Okay, guys, why? Because SQL Server is just only one application, guys, in the Windows machine. Like that, 20, 30 applications will be there in the Windows machine. Okay, so consumption can be because of any software. That might be because of SQL Server. That might be because of an antivirus. That might be because of some other third-party tools. Okay, we cannot predict, right? So just go to the task manager, check which process is taking more CPU. If SQL Server is taking more CPU, then work into work on this particular uh, issue. Okay, if non-SQL processes are taking more CPU, then simply route the ticket to the Windows team. That's it. But 90 percentage, 80 to 90 percentage SQL Server only will take more CPU, guys. Hardly in 100 tickets, 10, 20 tickets will take a uh, non sql processes will take more cpu and more memory but 80 percentage of the tickets sql server only itself will take the more cpu but again you have to know this thing guys okay if non sql processes are taking more cpu simply root the ticket not only cpu memory also if non sql processes are taking more memory simply root the ticket to the particular windows team windows team will take care of it so if sql server you know right how to identify if sql server is taking more cpu on top if you see sql server windows nt okay on top if you see sql server or sql server components now if you see it is on top right okay this is one instance and this is another instance so on top you can see sql related components are consuming more cpu and more memory then you have to look into it guys then you have to start working into it right so again if you got the issue cpu more than 90 memory more than 90 so go to the server check it open the task manager check it guys track it for 10 to 15 minutes okay see guys uh, it's very common cpu will go to 100 percentage again it will it will calm down by itself no user intervention is required it's very common it will goes to 100 percentage again it will be calm down it's very common memory will goes to 100 percentage again it will be calm down okay like it will go down guys right so wait for 10 to 15 minutes don't immediately start looking into it guys it's common cpu spikes or memory spikes we'll call it as a spike 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 means you know right so this is called spike if you see this is one spike okay this is a spike right this is a spike so it's very common cpu will goes to a 90 percentage 100 percentage memory will goes to 90 percentage 100 percentage just wait for 5 to 10 minutes or 15 minutes again it will calm down guys Again, it will calm down. Okay, it will go down. Your CPU consumption and memory consumption will go down. But after 10-15 minutes also, the CPU is not coming down or memory is not coming down. Then you have to start troubleshooting. Okay, even though when you got this CPU memory issue, okay, logged into the server, check it which process is consuming more CPU. If it is non-SQL processes, root it to Windows team. If it is SQL processes, wait for 10 to 15 minutes wait for 10 to 15 minutes 60 percentage of the issues okay okay 60 percentage of the issues they will calm down after 10 minutes or 15 minutes 40 percentage okay guys it won't calm down means your cpu won't down or memory won't down then you have to start looking into it why it is taking more cpu why it is taking more memory okay then you have to start looking into it guys okay so this is how we have to start troubleshooting the performance related things so now the things are yes sql process is taking more cpu and more memory uh, you just logged into the server you just check it sql process is taking more cpu more memory then you see it's not coming down 10 minutes over 15 minutes over still it is consuming 90 95 percent is only it's not coming down okay then what you have to do guys generally if it is after 10 minutes or 15 minutes if the cpu consumption is down or memory consumption is down to 10 percentage 20 percentage 30 percentage monitor for 
15 more minutes and close the ticket monitor for 15 more 15 more minutes and close the ticket no issues why because it's just a spike it went to 100 percentage and again it calmed down okay and it is again it is back to a 10 percentage 20 percentage 30 percentage in that situation you can close the ticket when once the cpu consumption memory consumption is down to okay less than threshold limit threshold limit means the mark okay usually in the organization the threshold limit for cpu is 90 percentage threshold limit for memory is 90 percentage means that is the final mark okay it can't cross more than 90 percentage or it can't cross more than memory can't cross more than 90 percentage and cpu can't cross more than 90 percent that 90 percent is called threshold limit so in 10 15 minutes if, if the cpu consumption is less than 90 percentage wait for 10 15 minutes if it is not crossing 90 percentage means there is no issue with the cpu and memory then you can close the ticket guys is it clear guys is it clear Yes, means sir. if the consumption is down if the consumption is down after 10 15 minutes monitor for 10 to 15 more minutes again up to 30 minutes means as you have already started monitoring 15 minutes back so since 15 minutes the consumption is down so monitor for 15 more minutes okay or 30 minutes no issues it's not landmark monitor for 30 more minutes if it is not going beyond 90 percent is close the ticket simply in the ticket comment mention the cpu consumption is down to okay less than 90 percentage or the cpu consumption is in between 10 to 30 percentage so i'm closing this ticket okay so like that you can clearly mention the ticket and you can close the ticket guys after 10 15 minutes also the consumption is not coming down still it is showing 90 percentage okay you have to look into it immediately guys why because after 90 percentage it will go to 95 then 100 percentage if you don't look into it if you ignore it simply the server will be hanged if the server is hanged windows team also can't access that machine the solution is they have to restart the server what will happen guys once they restarted the server what will happen why the issue will be fixed once they restarted the server mpdb will restart no. that's okay yes. that's different thing okay. restart means windows machine i'm saying windows okay yeah what will happen if i restart my server what will happen guys let's connect okay let's reconnect 